Well, good morning, everybody. It's Grandpa Scott, and here for another storing adventure. Today, we're going to travel back in time to a kingdom far, far away and talk about the young prince and all his toys. Well, here in this kingdom lived a prince, and he had everything you can imagine, every toy, everything that you could ever want. But he always seemed to want more. Even if the kids of his kingdom had something he didn't want, he wanted theirs too. So he was pretty selfish in the way he was behaving. Well, one day into the kingdom came a very special guy. He was a toy maker and he made amazing toys for the prince to play with. And he made a new one every single day. And so there was something amazing about these toys that the toy maker made. He says the only rule that has to be when you receive a toy is it just needs to be played with every day a little bit. So as the days went by, the prince was enjoying his time and the, the toy maker was bringing in new toys. But after a while, the toys just started to pile up and the poor little prince could hardly keep up with playing with all these toys. He seemed to be having to play with the toys all day long. So he was getting a little bit tired and exhausted from all these toys that the toy maker kept bringing in to him. So the little prince said, I can't do this all the time. I'm playing with the toys when I wake up, when I'm eating, when I take my royal bath, and even when I'm sleeping. This has to stop. I don't know what to do. So what the little prince did, he says, maybe I'll take a few of these toys and put them off to the side so that the toy maker won't notice it when he brings in the next toy. Well, it wasn't so much that the toy maker was not to see them, but the toys themselves realized that they weren't getting played with. So in the night, the toys came back very angrily to the prince and said, you need to play with us. You made a deal with the toy maker. Well, now the poor little prince was getting so weak and weary. He says, I have to figure something out and able to be these toys to be played with because every day, the toy maker brought in a new toy for him to play with. So he, the prince one day was walking around the castle. And as he walked around the castle, he noticed some kids out playing in the field. But they had no toys. All they had was a rock. So the prince summoned the kids to come into the kingdom. And the kids were worried because they thought maybe the prince would even take away their stone they were playing with because he wanted everybody's things that they had to play with. But they were surprised because when the prince talked to the kids that were outside, he says, I would really like it if you guys could play with some of my toys. Wow, were they surprised. So the kids started playing with the toys and the prince made new friends, and everybody was having a great, great time in the kingdom because it was all fun playing with all these special toys that the toy maker was making for the prince. And none of the toys got angry anymore because they had so many people to enjoy them. And so every day the prince went to the gates and called in all the kids and said come come in let's play with toys and he did so the prince was sharing all his toys with all the people of the kingdom all the kids and you know what's really amazingly great about this whole thing is that all the kids got to have toys that they didn't have and they got to play the prince was able to share his toys and learn how good it feels to share and also he made a bunch of new friends that is just fantastic 
Well, I hope you had a little fun here today and also learned an important lesson about sharing. So, now's the time for you to have your own great day, to go outside and have some fun because the story is all done. <laughs>